Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing another series review, and this is the great. This is the Great Library series by Rachel Kane, which consists of the books, Ink and Bone, Paper and Fire, Ash and Quill, Smoke and Iron, and Sword and Pen. To give a fairly rough summary, basically in this world, the Great uh, the Great Library at Alexandria never fell and instead became, if not one of, then the most powerful institution in the world because it controls all knowledge. It controls every book that goes in and out. And we follow Jess Brightwell, who is a part of a family of book smugglers. They were, deal in buying and selling rare books. And one day his father comes to him and tells him he's sending him to Alexandria to study and work to become a part of the Great Library so that he can be a spy on the inside. While the first book deals with his, his year in the school, it quickly devolves into revolution. Now, I've read these books over a period of three years. I don't remember much about them. I gave every single one of them four stars because they are very good books. They look like middle grade. They are not middle grade. Okay. There is a particular kind of people in this book called burners. And they will literally set themselves on fire as suicide in order to burn books as a message to the library that people are more important than than books are. And I mean, there's a point where our group of intrepid, you know, adventurers goes to get sent to Philadelphia, which America is full of book burners for whatever fucking reason. And the entire city gets blasted with Greek fire, which if you don't know what Greek fire is, it is a legendary substance that is ever burning and sticks and water cannot put it out. Now, if it's submerged long enough, yes, it will eventually go out. But you can't just use fire hoses. It will not work. Uh, there's a point where his classmate and his teacher get taken and stuck in a prison and tortured and shit like that. Last book... You spend most of the book thinking Jess is going to die. Spoiler alert. Like, a lot of these are spoilers for the books. At the end of it all, it's not him. It comes out to be someone else. And you're just like, what the fuck? I mean, I was... There were tears. I wasn't straight up crying. But there were plenty of tears by the end of that book. And these books are good. I just didn't fall in love with them. I think, you know, I felt like we were kind of rushing. Especially towards the end to finish. Although I will give uh, Sword and Pen its due. It's probably one of the better finale books that I've read in a long, long time. Because it actually takes the time to give a good finale to this, this revolution we've been building up to. Because they're trying to make knowledge more available. They're trying to take down the library so that people are not killed or disappear because they're a threat to the library. The printing press has been built multiple times by multiple people. All that knowledge is either destroyed or repressed or the people are made to disappear. They will disappear from history. So, because it would mean that the Great Library no longer holds all the cards. So really, it's a good book, but... And I mean this just by looking at, like, the size and the shape of these books... They look like they should be middle grade. And when you get past that first book, and especially when you get to, I think it's the third book, where they go to Philadelphia, and <laughs> Philadelphia is literally bombed with Greek fire. And it's like, holy shit. This is for at minimum YA, if not older YA. Like, there's not really any sexual thing in things about it like that kind of comes up here and there but not not too badly but it's just it's a lot of like death 
and gore and, you know, really, really unfortunate things. The The book ends, it ends well, the whole series ends well, but oof, it can get kind of rough at times. So I, I do recommend it, but just be aware that this is not a, uh, this is not a happy-go-lucky romp. You know, it takes a hard look at what having that kind of power does to institutions and to people. So let me know in the comments down below, have you, any of y'all read the Great Library series? What did you think of it? Like, occasionally I'll see Ink and Bone pop up, you know, on people's TBR, but nobody ever seems to read it. And it is an interesting, like, series. I do recommend it. It's just maybe not that easy to get through for most people. So let me know what y'all think, and I will see y'all next time.